Welcome to this episode of the Blue White Academy. My name is Mina and today I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the tubing on our line of A3 M3 peristaltic metering pumps. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to replace the tubing for the A3 M3 peristaltic metering pumps and general maintenance to keep your pump running optimally. But before we replace the tubing, it's important to practice safety. Always wear safety glasses and gloves when replacing the tubing. Some other items we recommend are a degreaser, a rag, a scrub sponge, silicone oil lubricant, high temp grease, and a brush. Safety tip. Be sure to relieve pressure in the discharge side of the tubing before performing any maintenance. To replace the tubing on the A3 M3 peristaltic metering pump, begin by removing the four thumb screws to the pump head cover by hand. Remove the pump head cover. Remove the front washer. Unlock the spider ring and power on the pump. The pump will now be in maintenance mode. Run the pump until one of the rollers is in the nine o'clock position and stop the pump. Remove the roller. Repeat this process for the remaining three rollers. Remove the rotor body. Remove the tubing. Lastly, remove the rear spacer. Now we will clean the pump. Begin by cleaning the arm rollers. Remove grease, chemicals, or debris from the arm rollers with the degreaser and rag. Once clean, place a drop of silicone oil at the end of the rollers to lubricate them and wipe away any excess oil. Verify that each roller is free spinning. Any seizing of these rollers will cause extra friction and wear and tear on your tube. Next, clean the rotor body. Remove grease, chemicals, or debris from the rotor body with a degreaser and rag. A scrub sponge can remove any tough buildup. Lastly, clean the interior of the pump head. Use the degreaser and rag to clean any grease, chemicals, or debris from the interior of the pump head and motor shaft. A scrub sponge can remove any tough buildup inside the pump head. This buildup can lead to added tube wear if left unmaintained. The A3 M3 has two TFD sensor pins. Be sure it is clean from any chemicals or debris. Once the pump head is clean, apply high temp grease directly to the shaft with a brush. This allows the roller assembly to be easily removed during the pump's next maintenance. Now we will reassemble the pump. Begin by inserting the rear spacer onto the shaft. Install the rotor body into the pump head. Install the tubing. Run the pump until the roller slot is in the 9 o'clock position and stop the pump. Install roller A. Repeat this process ensuring that rollers A are opposite of each other and that rollers B are opposite of each other. Lock the spider ring. Install the front spacer. Install the pump head cover. Fasten the four thumb screws by hand. We recommend cleaning the pump head and roller assembly every time there's a tube replacement. Proper maintenance will extend the tube life and reduce maintenance costs. The screen will now read, did you perform a tube replacement? Select yes if this is a new tube, verify the tubing information, select save, and your pump is good to go. This has been how to replace the tubing for the A3 M3 peristaltic metering pump and general maintenance to keep your pump running optimally. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customerservice at blue-white.com. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue White Academy. For more information, please visit blue-white.com.